what up guys and welcome back to another video today i'm going to be showing you how to install auto plugin slash vpk files on your ps vita and i'm also going to show you how to overclock your ps vita so let's get started like always the links will be in the description below and you're going to click on the first link which is going to take you to this page right here make sure you download the latest version 3.85 you're going to click here auto plugin dot bpk and it should start downloading after that is finished downloading we're going to go into our ps vita and i will show you guys what to do next now that we are in our ps vita we're going to go into vita shell open it up and we're going to click select to connect it to our computer and after that we're going to go back into the computer now that we're back in our computer as you guys could see here's our ps vita we're going to click on it we're going to go into view and we're going to check hidden items and these should uh, pop out all your hidden folders you guys might have after that we're going to go into our download or wherever you downloaded auto plugin and we're going to drag it to the root of our ps vita and there you go once it's finished downloading we're going to go back into the ps vita and i will show you guys how to install it now that we are on our ps vita we're going to go back into vita shell and open it up and we are going to scroll down to uxo there we go and we're going to scroll all the way down and we should see the auto plugin bpk there you go we're going to hit x it's going to ask us do you want to install this package you're going to click yes you're going to say this and it's going to verify that you want to install it you're going to click yes again and you just wait How you guys doing by the way? Hmm. Hope you guys are doing good. And it should finish any moment now. There you go. After that is done, you're gonna hit circle, and then you're gonna hit triangle, and you're gonna click refresh live area, and hit yes. They should refresh it. And there you go, it should be installed. Now we exit Vita Shell, and we should see which you see auto plugin right here we're going to click on it you guys can see we go into plugins for beta install plugins and as you guys can see you could uh, install basically any plugin that you might want um you can switch from internal to external your sd card or your memory card um switch make sure you switch to uxo and now i'm going to show you guys how to install the plugin to overclock your ps vita we're going to scroll down all the way to let me see um, right here where you guys see o'clock vita you're gonna hit I mean you're gonna hit X and there you go this is basically how do you install the overclock plugin for your PS Vita now we're gonna exit that out and now we'll show you guys what to do next so now that our PS Vita has restarted 
we're gonna go into a game and I will show you guys how to activate the plugin and we wait a little bit we're gonna try it out on Call of Duty so basically what you're gonna wanna do is hold select and up and you should get this menu from there you guys can see it's already on game default you can switch it to default max performance that's like the maximum performance you could go to and then there's max battery and I believe that is it yep so there you go you'll click max performance for max performance and to close the menu all you have to do is press select and down and there you go your PS Vita is overclocked so anyway guys that's basically how to overclock your PS Vita and install auto plugin slash BPK files I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys did Please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys on the next video. So peace out.